Treasurer-elect Michael Frerix. You're going to have to bend down <laughs> for, for <laughs> Would you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, Michael Furrix, I, Michael Furrix, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution the state of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Of the office. State treasurer. State treasurer. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations, treasurer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to stand before you as your Illinois State Treasurer. Follow me. <laughs> Following a succession of state treasurers dating back almost 200 years to our state's founding. My personal story is not that much different than yours. I grew up in a union household in the small town of Gifford, Illinois. My dad still drives works as a truck driver, and my mom spent her career as a secretary. Through hard work, part-time jobs, and government-backed student loans, I went away to college, but returned to Champaign County to give back to the community that gave so much to me. Now, you probably hadn't heard of Gifford until maybe November of 2013, when life there changed dramatically. The same storm that ripped through central Illinois tore a path through the middle of my hometown. By the grace of God, lives were spared in Gifford. But some families lost almost everything. Now, immediately help poured into Gifford that very same day. People showed up with their work boots and their gloves and said, I'm here to help. Put me to work. Government also played a role in helping to rebuild vital infrastructure, with Republicans and Democrats working together, helping to rebuild my hometown. Today, more than a year later, people are still working together to ensure that a small town that is now back on its feet continues to emerge stronger than before. The lesson of Gifford is, when the people of Illinois face the greatest adversity is when they come together to accomplish their greatest achievements. So, like the people of Gifford, the people of Illinois have dreams of the kinds of lives they want to provide for themselves and for their families. Those dreams have been shaken. The Great Recession hit our communities six years ago. And many people felt like they were hit by a tornado. For middle class families, buying a home, raising a family, sending our kids to college, or saving for a secure retirement feels increasingly out of reach. But I don't accept that, and neither do most Illinoisans. Throughout the course of my campaign, I laid out our priorities for how the Treasurer's Office will help to rebuild the American dream expanding financial education, 
improving access to financial institutions, and providing more opportunities for stable investment right here in Illinois. I'm committed to investing in our students, our businesses, and our families. The state's The state's portfolio should be used as a tool to attract private investment and to spur growth. Through intelligent use of tech venture capital and linked deposits, the Treasurer's Office can create greater opportunity for job creation and economic development. The people of Illinois must be able to access financial institutions willing to invest in their homes, neighborhoods, and futures. Unfortunately, not every community in Illinois has access to these resources. We should attack this issue head on by expanding access to basic financial needs so that everyone in this great state has the opportunity to prosper. Some of the most challenging decisions that people make in their lives involve finances. Whether it's starting a new business, saving for college, or buying a new home. These life-changing choices require fiscal knowledge and foresight. The Treasurer's Office must invest in financial literacy programs to provide the people of Illinois the tools to make the best decisions about managing their money. By expanding financial education, access, and opportunities to all Illinoisans, I believe that we can provide a strong foundation on which to build Illinois' economic future making our state a better place to learn, to work, and raise a family. I am only one person. And as the state's chief investment officer, I run only one office that faces the same budget constraints that we all do. But like the people of Gifford, like people across Illinois, from Rockford to Cairo, from Chicago to Rock Island, I am ready to lace up my boots, to put on my work gloves. I am ready to work to join the people of Illinois in rebuilding the American dream. Thank you all very much.